Yes, sir. Being recorded. Yes. Okay. So we understand what is a compound assignment. Now let us understand what is the material assignment. Okay. Material assignment. So what happened, guys? Uh, if you see, most of the time, there are two materials which are identical with each other. Okay. Their bill of material bit might be a little bit different, but the routing is common. The bill of material is different, but routing is common. For example, suppose okay, uh, we are having this uh, bomb. Okay, let me do login. Okay. Now, this is our laptop B14 and 1000. This is laptop B14 is our material for which this is the bomb. Okay. Now, if you go to laptop B14 CS03. Okay. And if you have this material, okay, so we are having this box, okay. Bomb is not found for this material. We don't have bomb for this. Okay, so the alternate bomb proof. So this is the second bill of material. But this okay, oh, I will not go in this just on slash and C S zero three. Okay, left. Slash and C S zero. Okay. Laptop P4 is flat for division okay. I understand. Bomb not found. Okay. So let us create a bomb for this slash and see. Well, first of all, remove this deletion B 06. Okay. And then slash and then 06. This material is marked for deletion flag, right? Okay. Okay, now it's clear. Clash and CS01. Okay, I'm going to create a bill of material for this B144. I will copy it from laptop B14. Okay, I'll copy alternate bomb one. Okay, I will select all components, but select all. And in that there is okay, I will copy it. But I will have only one box. So this laptop B14 and laptop B44144 both are the almost same component, okay? Slash and CS4. Okay. And then bomb one. So you can see these are the two components, two, two finish good. Okay. These are the two finish good. Where almost battery for laptop, laptop screen, laptop uh, packing, okay, battery, charger, and PCB, all things are common. Okay. So suppose you are having already laptop B14 and now you have created new material laptop B144 after a few months and all. And you know that whatever routing we are having for laptop B14, same routing can be used for laptop B144. Are you getting my point? See, for laptop B14, whatever routing we are having, same routing we can use for laptop B144. So in that case, we can go for the concept called as a material assignment. 
Metal assignment is what? If there are two products and they are having common routing in which operation timings are going to be matched, operations are going to be matched. In that case, we can simply assign existing routing to the new component. So we are having a routing for we are having routing for B144 material. B, okay. So this routing, this routing of B14, we can assign to new material. Okay. We can assign it to the new material. That is called as a material assignment. Everybody is getting my point, what I'm trying to say. Aditya, Vani, Sagar, Akshay. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. One material routing can be assigned to the multiple material if only the operations are common, operation timings are common, then only we can go for this. Component allocation can be different and different. That is not a big deal. Okay, the components will be different, no issue. But the rest of the things should be common. That is operation number and operation timings. So if two materials are manufactured using same set of work center or the, their routing is common, then we can use material assignment. The bomb of material may be equal or may be different in but routing or operation are common. Okay, routing has to be common in operation timing also needs to be common. The operation timings, okay, setup time, machine time, labor time, and everything has to be common. This we can use if we need to copy one routing to another material. Now this can be your interview question. What is the difference between component allocation? Okay, component allocation and material assignment. These are the two different things. Okay, clear team? But component allocation means what? Assigning component to the operation assigning bomb component to the operation and here what we are talking now material assignment material assignment so we are talking about there is a header button laptop a and laptop b this laptop 114 and laptop 144 these are the two header materials okay so material is your header component that is called a header and component is what that is a child component inside the bomb okay now finished good material when we have to create a routing for two finished material so we can use a reference or existing routing and we can assign existing routing to the new material. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I will go to slash and CA02. Yeah. Any question, Bunny? Uh, no, sir. Do you mean to say like uh, material assignment is done at uh, routing header level and the component allocation is done at uh, operation? Perfect. Level. Perfect. That is the right understanding. Okay. So now I will go for this operation. This is my routing. I will go to the header of this routing and I will go for material assignment tab. Can you everybody see material assignment tab? Here I will click yeah. and yes. then I will use the group counter one as it is. I will update my new material number that is laptop. laptop dash v144 right and my plant is 1000 enter and allocation is done save now if you go for slash and ca03 display and we have not created any laptop but if you try to see now routing for operation v144 okay so you can go for operations and you can see for laptop v144 this routing has been created as it is. Everybody, do you understand? Team, yes. Clear? Yes. Sir. What we did, so if you go to header data, material assignment, you can see B14, okay, and B14, they are coming under one group. Within a group, there are two material. For this group, for the group counter one, there are two material are having common routing. Now, majorly, this functionality is used in quality management where people are having two identical material and for their inspection plan is common. Okay. Laptop A and laptop B, two laptops are there. Their inspection plan is going to be obviously common, yes or no? Yes. yes. Right. So, in yes. that case, what we'll do, they will create one. Uh, inspection plan for laptop A and that inspection laptop uh, uh, inspection plan will be simply assigned to another material that is laptop B. Okay. And this is the way they will save the timing. 
of creating again again new inspection plan. Inspection plan is nothing but one of one kind of routing. Okay, if you remember, at the start we talk types of routing. Here we talk about inspection plan Q. That is a nothing but a type of routing. So this type of routing we can use, or this kind of material assignment can be used in majorly in a quality inspection plan. Okay. This is a time saving activity. So you should know it as a consultant. Whenever there is an issue, uh, whenever there is a common routing is there, we can use material assignment instead of creating a new routing. I hope the concept material assignment is clear. Component allocation is also clear, right? Okay. Now going ahead, let us understand.